Hi guys, my name is Morgan and I wanted to welcome you all to my YouTube channel, The Gentle Cowgirl. So today I'm going to take you on a little barn tour and I'm going to introduce you guys to the main characters of my stables, which are of course my beautiful horses. So first off, a little bit about me. My name is Morgan. I live in San Antonio, Texas. I am 29 years old. I've been training and riding for about 10 years consistently, but I grew up riding um, on my mom's horses when I was little. Um, I've been living in San Antonio for about seven years and I've been a Western riding instructor and a horse trainer for about seven years. I love my job and I decided to make a YouTube so I can share all of my horses with you guys. So the first thing we're going to do today is a little horse introduction. We're going to start with Winnie who's right over here. So follow me and I'll show you Winnie. Hi Winnie! So this is Winnie. She is my 17 year old red dun mare. Come here baby! She is one of my most awesome horses. She does play day events with my younger kids. She's pretty fast, but she's really sweet. I'm gonna take her fly mask off so you guys can see her. Wanna get a little closer? Come here, Winnie. So Winnie is a mare, which means she is a female horse. All right, and now I'm gonna take you guys over to Keystone. All right, now I'm here with Keystone, and Keystone is my old man. He is my 20-year-old bay. Hi, buddy. I'm putting his halter on right now. And then I'll take his fly mask off so you can see his pretty face. So Keystone is a bay, which means he is brown with black mane, black tail, and sometimes they have black socks too. Here Keystone is. He's one of my best lesson horses. He knows the barrel pattern. He's extremely patterned, loves kids. He's great for beginners and intermediates. So this is Keystone. So I just pulled Wasabi out of his stall. Wasabi is my six-year-old horse. He uh, has been in training for the past four months. I'm gonna take his fly mask off. Hi, buddy. The flies have been so bad here lately, so I've been keeping most of my horse's fly mask to keep the flies off their face. They can still see through this. It's just a really fine mesh. Just helps keep the bugs off their eyes. So Wasabi's six years old. He's a paint horse, which means he has two colors. He is black and he is white, and he is munching on some grass right now. <laughs> Come on, buddy. He is a gelding, which means he is a boy horse that is fixed, so he cannot have any babies. Sad for wasabi. Um, but a male horse that can still have babies is called a stallion. A lot of people think a stallion is just a wild horse, but nope, stallion is just a boy horse that uh, can still have babies. So I'm going to put wasabi back now and then show you guys the rest of my horses. All right, now I'm gonna introduce you to the most special guy of my herd. He wants to eat his hay right now. This is Mojo. Mojo was my first horse ever, so he is my heart horse. He's my soul horse. I've had him for seven years now. Um, he is an Appaloosa and he started my addiction for Appaloosas. So if you don't know, Appaloosa is a horse breed and most Appaloosas have dapples on their butts. As you can see, Mojo has dapples back here. He is a gray dappled Appaloosa. I love his booty dapples. Mojo is 13 years old. He used to be just my horse, but as I started uh, riding more and training more horses, I didn't have a lot of time to ride Mojo, so I started teaching lessons on him about two years ago, and he loves it. He does so good with my little kids from four up to 20. I mean, he does great. He's been doing play days and just started this year, and he's doing awesome. So now I'm gonna show you my second favorite, who is Razzle. Razzle is also an Appaloosa. She is a POA, and she's a pony. So for those of y'all who don't know, the difference between a pony and a horse is just the size. Ponies are small, horses are big. So how we measure a horse is in hands. Um, we measure from their wither, which is that bump on their back, all the way down to their hoofs. Razzle's not much of a lover. She's more of an eater, and she likes to do her own thing. She's a horse's horse. So, or a pony's pony. <laughs> so that's Razzle. Razzle is seven years old, so Razzle is pretty young. And then we have Pumpkin over here. Pumpkin is the tiniest member of my herd, and Pumpkin is a quarter pony. So I'm sure you guys have heard of a quarter horse. She's just a quarter po a pony, quarter pony, and that is her breed. Um, Pumpkin, despite her size, is super fast. She's one of my fastest horses, really speedy. My goals right now with her is to make her into a bomb barrel horse, which I think she can do amazing at. She does lessons, but she's my feistiest pony. She's got a little attitude and she's got a little sass, but that's what I like about her. So I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my horses now. And last but not least, we have Tonka. Tonka is the newest addition to my herd. She's a four-year-old, so she's my youngest horse. She is not broke yet. I just put her first saddle on last week. 
Um, she did really good. She's really calm. She's really laid back. She is a pony. As I was saying before with Razzle, how you measure and find the difference between a horse and a pony is you want to measure from the wither all the way down to their hoof. Um, you measure in a measurement called hands, and there's four inches in a hand. If your horse is 14 hands, they're considered a pony, and if they're above 14 hands, then they're considered a horse. So Tonka here is probably about, if I had to guess, maybe 13, three hands. Um, so she's kind of right on the verge of being considered a pony. And Tonka is a paint, just like Wasabi. All right, now we're gonna take a little walk back to the barn, um, and then that's gonna be it. <laughs> Well, that's my barn guys those are all of my horses right now i have seven um i hope you guys subscribe to my channel like and comment and let me know what you guys want to see my next video is going to be a treat testing video i'm going to get a bunch of different types of treats and see which of my horses like what treats so if you guys have a fun food you think might be cool to see if my horses eat or not comment below and i'll make sure i include that in the taste test thank you guys for following my channel have a great day